one by one, industries are getting challenged. I meet with eight, sometimes 15 entrepreneurs in a day. And so I hear what they're thinking. I have a pretty good sense of what might be happening in five to 10 years. And all I really cared about was, if this works, how big is it? How great is it? And that's the way I look at new entrepreneurs. I say, how big can this get? That's the first hurdle. And then, do they have a little wedge to get in there? And is it, a is it not just creative in technology, but is it creative in the business model? Have they sort of really figured out how they're going to actually get to customers, get the customers to pay them, all that stuff? And then there are a few entrepreneurs that are just bursting out of their chest and you just have to back them. They could be making, you know, the, the lid inside the cup, inside the whatever, just some small tiny thing. But if they have this incredible, you know, have to change the way this operates, then yeah, I just back them because I just can't not. Um, Actually, it's interesting. I, uh, three have come to mind already. Four, um, <laughs> five, six. No, um, <laughs> um, Hotmail because of communications around the world. That was huge. Um, uh, Tesla because it's starting to really change automotive, and uh, you know, and we do need environmental changes, and that's a great one. Um, also, they're great cars. Um, <laughs> But then Baidu, uh, that was the search engine for China. Yeah. And that almost had, I mean, Google had a huge effect on everybody everywhere. But that kind of had a, that country, I think that probably had the biggest effect. I think Baidu may have had the biggest effect. Yeah, on the most people.